Most people like to do at least some traveling, and while for some a day by the pool is the ideal vacation, others like a little more adrenaline and thrill to the mix. If you think you're brave enough to handle even the most extreme of rides, then you've come to the right place, because today, we're going to take a look at some of the most insane and truthfully quite terrifying in some cases, tourist attractions made exclusively for some of the bravest people around. For those travelers who need to test their nerves, I've got you covered. Here are the world's most brutal tests to the nervous system. Think you can handle them? No! God, please, no! No! Well then, let's get it on. No! CN Tower Edge Walk. For 32 years, the CN Tower in Toronto, Canada was the tallest structure on the planet, only surpassed by the colossal Burj Khalifa building in Dubai in 2007. Still, runner-up in this case is still very high up. At the massive radio tower, serious adrenaline junkies can take a walk on the wild side with the CN Tower Edge Walk. Go ahead. That's it. <laughs> yeah, man. Double high five. You feel all right? No. no. A completely open platform, 1,168 feet in the sky. No guardrails, no walls, just a bungee cord attached to a security rail connecting the visitors to the building and a whole lot of nothing between you and the ground. I don't know about you, but I get vertigo from the inside of tall buildings. So the CN Tower Edge Walk is not exactly on my bucket list. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Cage of Death. Anyone with an insane hunger for danger should head straight to Darwin, Australia, where I assure you, your appetite will be satisfied. However, if you're a little more, uh, how should I say, sane, you'll definitely want to stay as far away from this crazy place down under as possible. Darwin is home to what's known as the Cage of Death, which is certainly an inviting name. In this underwater acrylic enclosure, which forms part of the Crocosaurus Cove Aquarium, visitors can take a dip in a small pool with man-eating crocodiles surrounding you at all times. Australian crocodiles can grow to sizes between 15 and 20 feet long. And in the cage of death, adrenaline junkies can watch these reptilian apex predators feed, swim, and even snap their massive jaws from an arm's length away. The crocodiles sure aren't shy and often pass by with a toothy smile. If they weren't underwater, you could probably see their mouths watering at the sight of a tasty human snack. Visitors go through a brief safety course before taking the big plunge but otherwise, as one online review claims, all you can do is cower in fear. My question is, what the hell? And pray that the acrylic walls do their job. Nevis Catapult. If somehow bungee jumping, skydiving, and zip lining just aren't terrifying enough for you. Oh my then you'll enjoy being slung out of a medieval siege weapon better. In Nevis Valley in New Zealand, that scary dream can become a reality for those brave enough to attempt it. Here, the Nevis catapult literally slings humans like a cannonball across massive mountain valleys while connected to what I sure hope is a very strong bungee cord. The catapult launches riders 492 feet up in the air, making their free-falling bodies accelerate to speeds faster than 60 miles per hour, or as fast as a car on the highway in as little as 1.5 seconds. That's about how long it takes to hit that subscribe button, by the way. Here, I'll prove it to you. Give it a shot. Terrifying Glass Bridge those with a fear of heights might want to look away right about uh, now. Welcome to the Grand Canyon. Not the one in America, but the one in China, located in the province of Hunan. Here at the Zhangjiajie Grand Canyon, architects and engineers were inspired by the James Cameron movie Avatar and wanted to bring a little Pandora to Earth by building the largest fully glass bottom bridge the planet has ever seen. This terrifying 1,410 foot long bridge is built at an altitude of 900 180 feet, with the floor of the bridge, which lies between you and certain doom, consisting of 99 transparent plates made of three-layer glass. The bridge has already claimed 10 world records, and is sure to attract wilder and wilder ones once the massive adrenaline junkie community can get their hands on it. Or maybe their feet off it is more appropriate. If you do happen to be one of the brave individuals who thinks they can take on crossing this insane bridge, just remember, don't look down. Like, seriously, it's terrifying. Zip World Velocity 
Wales isn't exactly a place most people think of as thrilling, but what if I were to tell you that Wales is home to one of the craziest and most extreme attractions in the world? Enter the Velocity 2 Zipline, also known as the fastest zipline on Earth. This specially positioned zipline was designed with speed in mind, accelerating those brave enough to ride it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 10 seconds. <laughs> And it doesn't stop there. The steep, rideable wire zooms guests along its length at up to 125 miles per hour, which, for reference, is the legal speed limit for trains in all of England. If you manage to keep your eyes open during the trip, the crown way below will look like nothing more than a blur, and the wind in your ears might be able to drown out how loud your heart is beating from all the adrenaline. The Tilt do you ever get that feeling when you look out a window in a tall building? Well, multiply that by a thousand, and you might have an idea of what the tilt in Chicago's John Hancock building is all about. Oh, hell no! This truly unique attraction actually manages to make money from people who want to be scared. The tilt is an eight-station hydraulic experience where visitors are placed against a slightly tilted window overlooking Chicago from 1,128 feet in the sky. While the see-through glass does provide a majestic view of the Windy City, sometimes letting people see as far as 50 miles away, the feeling of awe quickly turns to terror as they crank up the fear factor. The glass platform literally tilts towards the ground, slowly at first, giving a slightly better view of the ground all the way down. Thankfully, there are handrails along the sides, which visitors understandably tend to grip very firmly on the final tilt. Still, seeing the Chicago skyline from a flat perspective is just fine by me. Macau Tower Bungee Jump Bungee jumping is an extreme sport that has quickly taken the world by storm, with jumping spots being started up all over the world. Now, while bungee jumping itself is an extreme sport, there are some who want to take it to the next level. And those are the people who go to the Macau Tower Jump, the tallest bungee jump in the entire world, which is a staggering 764 feet in the sky. A jump from the Macau Tower is quite an extreme and expensive luxury that will set you back around $1,000. However, those who love the thrill would do anything for an adrenaline rush. While we're assured that the bungee cord has the strength to hold up 2.2 tons, or about the weight of an elephant, there's always that thought in the back of your mind when jumping head first off a tower. Ladder to Heaven Australia is home to some incredible rock mountains, attracting thousands of adventurous climbers and hikers every year. However, sometimes certain sections of the mountains aren't able to be scaled by hand, making reaching mountain peaks impossible for all but the most gifted climbers. That's where Via Ferratas come in. These wire staircases connect parts of trails that would be otherwise impossible, but don't be fooled. That doesn't mean it makes them easy. The Ladder to Heaven, located in Donnerkogel in Australia, is one such via ferrata with a very high difficulty level. And that's not the only thing that's high. This simple wire ladder hangs 2,300 feet above the ground, allowing climbers to cross an otherwise impassable gorge. The Ladder to Heaven is a whopping 140 feet long, and once you start climbing, there's no turning back. Meaning if you even step on the first rung, you've got to crawl along the entire 140 foot length with certain doom directly below. Unless you're a fan of heights, maybe a different hobby your mountain would be better. Zero Gravity Plane Many people dream of going into space, but so far only about 536 humans have had the honor of experiencing weightlessness from outside the Earth's atmosphere. Thankfully for those of us who haven't undergone crazy astronaut training though, companies like Zero-G have begun offering what are known as weightless flights, where passengers can experience Zero-G without needing to invent their own rockets. These specialized plane rides are carefully flown at just the right angles to create short bursts of weightlessness, where you can float around the cabin, perform some acrobatic stunts, and get to know what astronauts must feel all the time. The industry is relatively new, but several companies and groups have used these planes for cool marketing campaigns and high-budget projects, like one band who shot a music video while doing weightless tricks in one of these planes, a stunt which took over a year of practice to get right. And with the lowest price for tickets to this space flight being around $4,000, that's one video you really can't afford to mess up. Dubai X-Line 
Dubai is known for its luxurious lifestyle, expensive cars, and tremendous skyline. Of course, where there are skyscrapers, the daredevils will follow. And Dubai's extravagance makes the thrills you can find in this city truly extreme. The Dubai X Line is a colossal and extremely fast zip line, allowing adrenaline fanatics to fly like a superhero over the marina district of Dubai. The X Line zips users a distance of over 3,200 feet, with their feet dangling 550 feet above the ground and sea below. providing a truly breathtaking perspective on the city that not many are able to experience, with riders maintaining speeds of over 50 miles per hour, and that's with nothing but gravity and their body weight propelling them. If you're feeling a little squeamish, however, a twin line is located just parallel to it, so a friend or a loved one can take on the adventure with you. Huh, talk about moral support. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too. There you have it, the scariest and most terrifying attractions around the world. Are you brave enough to give any of these a try? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching.